Hey guys, welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a very, very special video. But first, I just want to say that it is my birthday and I'm so excited. I'm 44 years old today as I am filming this and I'm so excited to be celebrating my birthday by reviewing a very special collaboration from a very, very special person. Her name is Hannah otherwise known as Smoky Glow. She collaborated with Midas Cosmetics. Midas Cosmetics, if you haven't heard of them, is kind of a smaller independent brand. And I've actually been wanting to try out some of the formulas. So I'm very excited because I'll get to review her collaboration and I'll get to try out the Midas eyeshadow formula. So yeah, I'm very, very excited about that. If you haven't heard of Hannah, Smoky Glow, like I said, she is kind of a small to mid YouTuber here. When I first started getting into makeup about a year ago, Hannah was one of the first channels I discovered, and she's just so sweet, so kind, so informative. She does makeup tutorials, she does makeup reviews, she does commentary, she has kind of a little bit of everything on her channel. She's also going to school to be a social worker, so YouTube is kind of her thing that she's doing, it's kind of her job while she attends school to get her social worker's degree, and I'm all about that. This is the eyeshadow palette, Midas Cosmetics, and I love the fact that it says Smoky Glow on the cover and on the inside, which is really, really cool. Her saying is, hi friends, that's what she says every time she opens up her videos. And so on the inside, right below the mirror right here, they wrote, hi friends. I thought that was really, really cute too. I love this color story. This color story is like so me. You've got pinks and you've got purples. You've got a little pop of orange here. There's some beautiful purple and gold and pink, a little shifty kind of a shimmer shades and metallics. I am really, really excited about playing around with this palette and seeing what kind of a look I can put together with it. Then you have the Duo Highlighter Palette. It's got that little cute little kind of a shiny chromey finish on the front which is really really cute. And the inside you have a mirror and then you have two shades of the highlighter. You have Yas which is kind of a golden -y champagne shade and then you have Slay which is a pinky shade. If you don't understand what Yas is, she actually does a segment on her channel called Yas or Pass where she talks about different makeup brands and if she's going to buy them or she's not going to buy them and so that Yas kind of goes with that little little saying of hers there. Let's get started with some swatches. I went on ahead and I pre-filmed a swatch video then I'm just going to go ahead and just drop it in right here so we can see what some of the shades and everything look like in a swatch and then we'll come back, play around with the formulas, put a look together and just have fun playing around with this palette. Be right back. Let's go ahead and do the swatches. We're going to start with the top row and then just make our way down from the first shade all the way to the last one. These are the first shades in the palette from left to right. We have Basic, Friends, Jump Cut, Group Chat, Rose, and Leno. Here's the second row. We have Nutty, which is kind of that blue silvery shade in the, in the front. It's really pretty because in the palette, it looks more pink, but on it has kind of a bluish purplish shift, which is absolutely gorgeous. Then we have Colleague, Warrior, Vote, Instagram Model, and Amazing. And this is the last row. We have Hello, Half Pony, A Rant, Code Brew, Content, and last in the palette is Dofa. And those were the swatches. You guys, these shadows and this formula, it is absolutely beautiful. This is my first time you're using the Midas Cosmetics formula and I am so, so pleasantly surprised just from the swatches alone. This shade right here, Luna, which is kind of a purpley shifty shade, this reminds me a lot of the Luna shade in the Sailor Moon ColourPop palette, but a little bit deeper and just richer. It's so, so pretty. I think I'm going to start with Cold Brew, kind of put that all over the eyelids. I know I definitely want to take in this Colleague shade, the Jump Cut shade here, perhaps Rose, got Content, Warrior, I don't know. Well, let's just go ahead and get started. First, I'm dipping into this Cold Brew shade right here. I'm going to kind of put that all over my eyelid to kind of set things down and so I have like a little transition shade, you know, all over the eyelids to kind of start off with. I think I'm going to take Colleague right here, which is like this really pretty pink shade, and then maybe go into Jump Out, which is kind of a corally orange, and just, you know, see what we do from there. These shadows, y'all, oh my god, they are so, so smooth. I have eyeshadow formulas that are like in more expensive palettes that don't go on as well. I didn't even swatch as well as these did, and they're, it's just going on so smooth. Hannah girl, you did good. You did good, baby. You did good. Take a little bit more. I have a new light up magnified mirror here, so it gets kind of weird, you know, seeing my face, you know, so close up, but it does help. 
I can kind of see everything much, much better in it. All right, now I'm gonna take my little crease brush from BH Cosmetics and I'm gonna go into this Jump Out for me, which is really, really pretty, kind of an orangey coral. I'm just gonna tap that into this area. Oh, that's pretty. That is so pretty. Oh my God. Midas Cosmetics, wow. This is a bomb formula. Right. I'm gonna take a little bit more. You guys know me, I love my orangey, corally shades. This entire palette color story is just like right in my alley. It's exactly what I would normally, you know, use and pull from. So I can definitely see myself using this palette a lot. Now, what to do next? What to do next? I'm thinking either content or amazing. I'm not sure. Hmm. This one's kind of a deeper burgundy and this one's more purple. Hmm. So I'm looking for something to kind of go in this outer corner. I think I'm gonna go with the amazing shade and put that just right here on the outer corner. And I'm gonna take my small detail crease brush from e.l.f. Yes, the whole, my little plastic is worn off. This brush has had a lot of love, but it is one of my favorites, so I don't intend on getting rid of it anytime soon. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna tap into this amazing shade right here. A little bit of fallout, but you know, not much. All shadows have fallout. That's just, that's just what's gonna happen, so you know. But there's very little in this palette. So I'm just taking it and I'm tapping it right there. The outside corner, oh, it's pretty. Yeah, I know I say pretty a lot, but uh, it 100% it describes this palette. The textures, the formula, so, so very smooth. Oh! Putting a little bit more into that corner. Just a little bit. So pretty, so pretty. So pretty. I think I'm gonna take Rose, which is kind of a deeper, richer pink, and maybe put that in here a little bit, and then we'll go to the, the crease shade, and then put something under the eyelid. Let's just tap into Rose, and we're just gonna tap this kind of in this inner corner area right in here. Pigment. This is a very, very bomb formula. I am so, so impressed. I'm gonna put something on the lower lash line before I go into the inner corner. I think I'm gonna take Warrior, this beautiful red shade, and put that on the lower lash line. So, let's dip into Warrior right here. And we're just gonna take that on the lower lash line just a little bit. For my inner corner highlight, I am definitely going to be taking this Leno shade right here. I am definitely digging into that one. That one is screaming my name. I'm gonna take this little thin brush, go into Leno. So creamy. Oof. Mmm. Mmm. And that's, we're gonna take that just into the inner corner here and then take it underneath. This beautiful iridescent shift. Like I said, it reminds me a lot of the Luna shade in that ColourPop palette, but this one is more purple. It's richer. Just gorgeous. Oh my goodness. I am in love. I'm in love. Hannah. Baby girl. You should be proud. You created an absolute beautiful color story with a brand that's obviously killing it in the formula department. This is making me want to buy some more of the Midas Eyeshadow palettes to try out some of the other color stories because this is just so beautiful. Just kind of pulling it out just a little bit and blending everything together on the outside. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna go do liner, throw in some lashes, then we'll come back and we'll play with the highlighter formula. All right, we're back. Lashes and liner is done. Let's go ahead and dive into this 
highlighter formula. I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple of swatches real quick. First of all, we have Yas. Yas is kind of a shimmery champagne gold. And then we have Slay. In the palette, it looks pink. You can kind of see there, it's got kind of a nice pink kind of a shift there. That's really, really pretty. I think for this look, we're gonna go ahead and do the Slay one, which has kind of that really pretty pinky undertone. I think it'll go with this, you know, overall pink look that we're, we're doing here. So I'm just gonna take my highlighter brush, tap into that. I'm just gonna see what this formula is like. pretty. It's just a very, very icy, natural glow. You can see that slight pink shift in it. It's just really, really pretty. Kind of laying it over my blush. This one with the pink shift in it would be a really, really, really pretty blush topper for pink and rose colored blushes. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and take another brush and I'm going to take the Yas shade. I'm gonna put that on my nose and on my Cupid's bow. So just a little bit. Right there. Ooh, I got just a little bit too much. Tap right there into my Cupid's bow and maybe take a little bit, just a slight bit down the nose. All right, and that is done. Final thoughts, y'all. This palette is beautiful. This color story is absolutely gorgeous. The formulas are absolutely gorgeous. If you know Hannah, you know that this is absolutely what she would choose. She loves pinks and purples and champagne golds. This is also the type of color story that I use on a daily basis. So I can see myself pulling from this palette, you know, on the, on the, on the daily. It's absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. The collection is currently sold out on the Midas website. They actually have a PR collection that has the eyeshadow palette, the highlighter, and a lip gloss set, or you could buy them separate. I just went ahead and I got the eyeshadow palette and the highlighters because I knew that I wouldn't use lip glosses and I didn't want to buy something that I wouldn't get any use out of. She's supposed to be doing a restock later on this month or um, early next month in April. When they do the restock, guys, pick it up. It's also very affordable. The eyeshadow palette was 36. The highlighters uh, duo was 21 absolutely beautiful for me an absolute affordable price y'all it is crazy out there right now right now it is march 12th which is my birthday as i'm filming this i don't know where we're going to be in a week or two weeks from now it is just so much stuff happening right now in the world it's just absolutely absolutely crazy so it was nice to sit down today on my birthday and just play with makeup and play around with the palette from somebody that i absolutely adore and admire you know her channel is just absolutely wonderful and just just have a good time just playing with makeup Take care of yourselves, guys. Be safe, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.